All right, so we found our missing angle, 68. And now we can find this side. Let's call it A because it's across from capital A. And let's call this side T because it's across from capital T. So lower cases for the side lengths, capitals for the actual angles. Lots of different ways we can go with this. Now, so we have, let's say we have our 22. 5 is the adjacent side to our 22. And A is the opposite side. So opposite and adjacent, that sounds a lot like the TOA. So our tangent. Tangent um, of our angle, theta, is opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to set up a ratio. Tangent of my angle in my triangle, 22 degrees. Sorry. Let's try that again. Tangent of 22 degrees is the opposite over the adjacent. So our opposite, I don't know what that is, that's A, divided by our adjacent, which is 5. We're trying to solve this for A. So we just set up our ratio with what we know. Let's multiply both sides by 5. Cancel out the divided by 5. And so 5 times the tangent of 22 degrees is A. To solve this, you need to make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. And so what I mean by that, hit the mode button. It's right here, right by the second. And third row down, it has radian and degree. You guys don't know about radians yet, but you will very soon. And hit enter on the degree, just to make sure it's highlighted. We're going to take 5 times the tangent, which is right here, of 22 degrees. And we get 2.02. .02. So that means A right here is 2.02. .02. Now, if this side is 5 and this side is 2.02, .02, .02, we can use Pythagorean theorem to find T in the same exact way. So usually I would just do 5 squared plus 2.02 .02 .02 squared to get the T squared. But just for extra practice, let's use a different... Um, trig function to find T. So T is our hypotenuse. Hypotenuse shows up in sine or cosine. And so since we did so nice to find this other angle 68, even though it's probably not the easiest way to find it, and I'll explain why, um, let's use 68 and the opposite over the hypotenuse. So 68, the sine of 68 degrees is 5, the opposite, over the t. Now I had marked this adjacent, but 5 is opposite of the 68, and so when you use the different angle, the opposite and the adjacent swap sides. So how do we solve this? We've got to get t by itself. So first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by t. t times the sine of 68 equals 5, then divide by the sine of 68, and t equals 5 divided by the sine of 68. Again, we're in degree mode, 5.39. And so we found angle k, we found side t, and the measure of angle k we said was 68 degrees. And so if you say solve the triangle, we're finding every single missing side. Again, I'll say we could have just plugged in 2.02 um, .02 squared plus 5 squared, and we could have gotten there. Now, the trig ratios, we used our calculator for that one, but there are some special ones with our special right triangles that you guys talked about. And what I'm talking about are 45, 45, 90 triangles. We call them 45, 45, 90 because those are the angles they have in them. And in a 45 degree triangle, this is actually isosceles. And so let's say we call this A. If this is A, that means this side is going to be A. And then this side would be A squared plus A squared. 
and we'll say 2a squared is equal to c squared. And then we take the square root of both sides. And so square root of a squared is a, and so this is going to be the square root of 2 times a. Square root of 2 times as long. So it's not twice as long, um, but it's square root of 2 times as long. Now 30, 60, 90. 30, 60, 90 triangle. If the short side is a, and by short side I mean it's across from the sh smallest angle, and so it's across from the 30 degree angle. The hypotenuse is always twice whatever a is, and the long side is whatever square root of 3 times a is, and that's the ratio. And so sometimes you may have seen this as 1 and 2 and it's just square root of 3 without the a's, and that works the same exact way. And so what you'll see is, because all of them have an a in them, when we go and do this sine and cosine and tangent of all of these, we're going to have um, all the a's drop out. So the sine of 30 degrees, sine, opposite, hypotenuse, the so, right? Opposite is a over hypotenuse 2a. So the sine of 30 degrees, where the a's cancel out, is 1 half. Cosine of 30 degrees, still dealing with the same triangle. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so adjacent hypotenuse, so ka, knowing how to spell it's tremendous, square root of 3 over of a over 2 times a. And so again, the a's cancel out, you get square root of 3 over 2. And that's the ratio between the two sides. Tangent, toa, tangent opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent, opposite a over root 3a. The a's cancel out, you get 1 over the square root of 3, which we can rationalize, multiply by root 3 over root 3, and you get the square root of 3 over 3. Cosecant is going to be the reciprocals of all of those. Uh, sorry, this next row. And so the reciprocal of the cosecant, it matches up with the sine. Remember the S and the C? And so this is going to be 2 because the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1. The reciprocal of the cosine, 2 over root 3. And so you get root 3, root 3, 2 root 3 over 3. So we just rationalized again. And the reciprocal of the cotangent, we rationalized this already. And so if you go back all the way to 1 over root 3 was the original one, so the cotangent is root 3 over 1, or just root 3. So, now what's going to be easy about the 60 degrees is that they're going to be very, very similar. Notice, let's go to the 60 and then we'll come back to the 45. 60 degrees, opposite over hypotenuse for the tangent, root 3 over 2. adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over 2. Notice how these swapped. Happens like that on purpose, and so the cosine and the secant are reciprocals. The sine and the cosecant. We already got the 2 over root 3, which we got up here, so 2 root 3 over 3. Tangent. Tangent is now opposite over adjacent, so that's the root 3, a over a, so just root 3. And then root 3 over 3, it's reciprocal, just like these were opposites. Now on to the 45, 45, 90. You can use either one of these because the adjacent side and the opposite side are going to be the same. And so sine is the opposite over hypotenuse, a over root 2 of a. a's cancel out, you get 1 over root 2, 
root 2 over root 2, and so the final answer is root 2 over 2. Cosine, same exact deal, root 2 over 2. The sine and the cosine are the exact same thing for the 45 degree angle. The tangent, opposite over adjacent, A over A, equal to 1. And so now keep in mind the cosecant is coming from the sine, which was 1 over root 2, which is going to be hypotenuse over, so it's just going to be root 2. Same thing with the secant. And the cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent. Reciprocal of 1 is just 1. So all of these numbers, 1 half, root 2 over 2, root 3 over 2, 1 half, root 2 over 2, root 3 over 2, um, all of these are going to be seen repeatedly this whole unit. These are called exact values. And I want you to get very accustomed to seeing all of these numbers and all of the reciprocals of these numbers and all of these numbers divided by each other because that's how we get the tangent and stuff. Um, but they're going to show up over and over and over again. So get very accustomed to them. They're not very pretty because they've got radicals in them and stuff like that. But get used to them because we're going to be seeing them a lot. Finally, um, on to these last two examples. Find the lengths of BC and AB using the relationships above. So this is a 30, 60, 90. So remember that everything is relative to the short side. If you can find the short side, that's what we're thinking about. Hypotenuse is twice as long. This is root 3 times as long. This long side is root 3 times. So 30 degrees, A is the short side. So this is a times root 3. And so if we want to get from the long side to the short side, we have to divide by root 3. So this is going to be 12 divided by root 3. And so we're going to have to do a little rationalizing. Root 3 over root 3. So 12 root 3 over 3. Or 4 root 3. So BC is equal to 4 root 3. And then the hypotenuse is twice as long as that. AB is twice as long. So twice as long, 2 times 4 root 3, which is going to be 8 root 3. Everything relative to the short side. All right. So, use the diagram. We want to find the measure of angle A. The hypotenuse is twice as long as this. And so, 3 must be the short side because the hypotenuse is always twice as long as the short side. And so, B must be 30 degrees. And so, because B is across from the short side, this would be 3 root 3 if you wanted to find it. And this would be 60 degrees. So 30, 60, 90. Again, this is twice as long as the short side, and that's how we're doing it. Special right triangles.